A grip on sports where were we? Oh, yeah. Not appreciating enough what we have. Maybe it's time to change that. Sometimes all it takes to appreciate the little things of life is to rip them away. Like working electricity. No, we're not talking about the last of us apocalyptic breakdowns. More mundane. Like settling into a hotel room for a weekend stay and finding half the outlets in the room don't work. Nice. The overnight laptop charging didn't take. Had to get on our knees and hands this morning, move furniture and use an extension cord to power up the darn thing. Fun. You would think the words status quo would, in a major chain hotel room sense, would include working plugs. Then again, status quo is changing in every aspect of life. Heck, we spent decades seeing the West Coast Conference as the home of the Jesuit schools in this part of the country, albeit with a secular beach school added on to supply some pepper. Then the league became the destination of choice for those in need of a safe harbor. Giving succor to BYU seemed to fit the Jesuit mission of aiding those in their time of need, but the giant LDS school always seemed a bit out of place. Still, most years the decade-long marriage helped the conference, and, most importantly, Gonzaga, in its never-ending quest for NCAA basketball respect. Of course, the Cougars from Provo were always searching for a football conference to call home and they finally found it in the Big 12. Last basketball season seemed a bit odd without them. But Todd will seem a bit normal soon. Two Power 5 residents of the Pacific Northwest will be joining next season, as Oregon State and Washington State needed a new port after another conference realignment tsunami destroyed theirs. Turns out, their two-year docking is just the beginning. For the WCC, two more members will join in 2025 and they couldn't be more different. Seattle University is a perfect fit, in one sense. A Jesuit school with a history, albeit an ancient one by today's standards, with many of the conference's schools. But when it comes to helping the basketball programs at Gonzaga, the number one priority for a few people on campus, with their net rankings, the Red Hawks only recently became a positive. And one wonders how long that will last. Grand Canyon University is the antithesis of the Red Hawks. No Jesuits, no history, no problem. After all, the for-profit Christian school has, under Bryce Drew, morphed into a basketball power. The men were good enough last season to bully their way into the NCAA's second round. And, even if Drew leaves for a more high-profile position, that probably won't change. The godfather of antelope hoops is Jerry Colongello, the 84-year-old former NBA owner and director of USA Basketball. The business school at Grand Canyon? It's named after him. And he still influences the Antelope's basketball fortunes.